Hi there everyone, I am Sonia and in this video I'm going to help you guys with untarring a, dot, a tar dot gz file using um, Ubuntu um, on a Windows subsystem for Linux or you can also do this on your Apple command line or on Ubuntu if we have a Linux. But this is something that I've encountered that I was struggling with before um, and I want to share it with you guys because you may at some point have the situation um, for instance, if let's say that you're downloading a file and um, that's a tar.gz file, um, so it's already pretty, pretty, um, pretty zipped up together and um, you, you basically want to extract the files from there. So it's a .tar.gz file. So how do we go about doing that? You might be a little bit stumped. So um, this is in my downloads and my data files. So um, if I look here where this file is located on my computer, it's under C users Sanya downloads. So in previous videos, I showed you how you could download um, a Ubuntu Windows subsystem for Linux um, if you have a Windows computer like me. So um, please watch that if you have any questions. So here, I'm just going to um, open this Ubuntu app. So it, it helps improve upon the weaknesses in the traditional um, terminal on Windows. So um, please make sure you have this Ubuntu Windows subsystem for Linux, this emulator. Then what you want to do is we see that this file is here on our C drive um, in our downloads. So I want to go to CD. And um, this is um, something that I also learned that you want to mount the C drive. If you have a hard drive, um, like my uh, trusted dude here, you'd want to mount that drive there. But this is on my C drive, so I'm going to um, do CD mount C. So this will save you a ton of time, especially if you're lost on how to get to that folder. That's something I uh, had to experiment around with. So we're going to go here. That's um, changing the directory there. Then what we next want to do is we want to um, continue moving on to, um, to users. And then Satya, and then downloads. So if you recall that we have downloads, we have documents, so you can be able to tab it if, you, um, if there's only one option, usually hitting tab will, will help you navigate quickly through the folders. So you can, you can print out the working directory. Um, and it's not just that, it's in the folder data files. So I'm going to go to CD data file. And we're going to see that we just have this one file here. So I'm going to print my working directory. And then we're going to see that we have GTEC analysis um, version 7 EQTL tar.gz. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to get rid of this .gz. So the way that I can do that is by using something called gunzip. Gunzip. So it's, um, so I'm going to use gunzip to get rid of this. So let's call um, gunzip. Oh, it's like gunzip. So it's getting rid of the .gz. So there's only one file, so I can just have it and it's going to just unzip it. So now you can see, just as I had um, pointed out, that um, now there's just a dot tar. So we, we need to just um, untar this file, which is getting rid of the tar, um, so that it can just become a regular file because there are all these like checks and systems and we just wanna get that um, tar file extracted. So you can just next do tar dot um, star space x, V, F, and then call this. And what you're going to see is that um, it opens up like a folder of all of these um, data files here now that were tre previously trapped inside this toy.gz. So now I can go inside this folder if I want to, and let's say I want to um, do the same thing. I can do the same thing for, um, for the brain regions or um, for the arteries, for adipose, for anything that I want. So um, if I want to look at hippocampus, for instance, I can just navigate, I can do LS, and now I'm going to see this um, 
little color, it's, it's sort of color coded um, because it represents a folder and something that I can go into some more. So I can do CD, GTAC analysis and I can list everything and I see that I have a ton of text and .gz files and I can go in and let's say I want to um, look at the um, RDV um, aorta, for instance. I can do the same thing because it's um, a .gz file. I can just do gun zip artery. Um, let's see what the name is, artery um, aorta, B7, um, E genes. And then what we're going to see is now this thing has gone right now. So we just edited it and it's changed to being a text document. So now we can just view it. Um, like as you would in Notepad, and we can just continue to do that. Now, um, for the sake of the memory, I might not like do this unzipping for everything, but um, you probably could try this. And what this will do is the minus R is something like a recursive operation. And it's just going to go through this um, entire folder and just apply the gun zip recursively on star means everything, all like in, in SQL or SQL, like the star usually means select all. So that's what this can do. You can either unzip a specific one and um, save your space that way, or you can just do the gun zip recursively. That means apply it, this operation repeatedly for each and every single content inside this folder. And now you can see, for instance, I can look at the spleen as well. It's a text document now. So we usually compress these files because we want to save space. Um, and using this process, um, we can just download, transmit files more easily. And this really helps us out, guys. Um, so this is a way to extract that data that's you know, kind of trapped inside or zipped inside some folders. So um, this is just another reason why Ubuntu can be very powerful. And I think that no matter what you're doing or what your research is, at some point you may need to extract files um, from a .gz or a tar or something that's not in something you can work with. Um, so I really hope that this helped you guys. And this was just an example of something that I was um, looking into. Um, so please let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you guys.